hazards of uh, Zion International High Anthem. Anytime I hear that it takes me off the, the flesh and drop me into the spirit realm, and at the same time, it's a reminder of the calling. Every army that hears Nigerian National Anthem is there is provoked to its responsibility. The anthem is a provocation to Zion people and to the visionaries that we are onto our responsibility to carry the vision ahead. Hallelujah. And it is well with us in the name of Jesus. It was composed based on the vision and based on the revelation and the message of Zion. So everything is encompassed in it. It's never been so anywhere in the whole world. It's only in Zion you hear this item. Hallelujah. Zion people, Zion people, what to Zion we live. Hallelujah. Plague upon everyone, 
And where I was was cool enough, good enough, and then it was like a banquet set up. And the fruits there were too many. And I said, okay, Lord, let me carry some fruits. I think in heaven we are going to eat some fruits that we ha have not seen on ice before. Well, some of those things I have seen, I saw that time, I have not come across it. I read agriculture in school, hey, amen. <laughs> and yet I'm still stranded as per what they could be. They could be. I read botany, I read crop plant science, I read this, I read that, but yet still stranded as about what I saw. Amen. And in the long run, I was shouting, Lord, let me get down the slope and bring some people here or give them food down and come back and take another. But the boy said to me, boy, you may kill yourself. How many people will you serve in that process? It's better you shout and let them come up over here. That whoever can come, let them come. And then they have the, to sob on their own. Praise the name of the Lord. And again, I began to shout. And that is why in this church, you must learn shouting. Amen. We are shouters. And what is our shout? I was shouting, come onto this mountain. Everybody down the slope, come, come, come. And what is our message for the, in this ministry? Excuse me. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy as captured by our anthem. Hallelujah. And as I was shouting, come, come, come here. Come unto me here. Come unto Jesus here. Some were rushing. Some were coming gently. Some were pushed aside. Some were still neglectful and all manners of disposition. But I saw that multitude were able to get to me. And then as they were getting to me, the angels were around to sit them down around in, on a immeasurable banquet seat. And that is why we are inviting everyone to come unto Christ and come and sup with him at the banquet seat. Amen. And that is our message. Come unto me. And that our vision is to inviting people unto the banquet seat with invariably represent the Lord's Supper at the last day, or at the last time when Jesus will be returning back. I think it was a replica, or a demonstration, or an indication, or an imitation of what Jesus Christ was coming to do. And virtually, he expects us to get set, and then anything we do here, we are practicing how that we are going to operate in that banquet time. Can somebody shout hallelujah? So it is my wish that nobody misses out from that realm and from that time we were practicing here. I said this is a setup of what the kingdom of God is going to look like. In the beginning of their kingdom, it's going to be a marriage supper when the master will sit down with the saints in a banquet. So Zion People's Church is already in heavenly realm. We are operating already in the heavenly atmosphere because our vision is typically heavenly. Hallelujah. And I did that and then some people came and Jesus was there as the king of kings and the lord of lords and the angels were available also to serve everyone that come. So that is our vision that we have been pursuing some few years ago and I see the lord almighty helping us to bring in, in more, more sheep onto the mountain in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The, you know it's the city of David, isn't it? Let somebody shout hallelujah. So praise and prayer are our emblem here. Because that's the characteristics of David who prayed ten times in a day and prays along the line and shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. So the name came to stay. The message was captured. The vision was clear. We began to run as we were instructed. And the name of the Lord will be glorified in all the runners. And be placed, you are invited to be part of the runners of this same vision because it is viable, it is versatile, it, is, it has heavenly orientation. You cannot miss it if you follow suit what the Lord has set up in this place and it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. We are not without challenges along the line uh, because we are still in every way trying to get our footing. Vision is for life and then you get explanation into it as you go on and go on and go on. So we still want more hand to help us explain what we have and more hand
hands also to come and run more partners from every place and uh, in resource persons and then also whichever assistance and whichever contribution you feel you can make to make the vision work and that might bring people into the fold please join us and in the name of the Lord will be with us together in the name of Jesus long live Zion Bible Church International long live the vision of God thank you God bless you